Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Camp to Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cool double exposure with our landscape buildings. To do this we're going to need two photographs and we're going to need to do a little bit of layer masking to create this double exposure effect. I've done a few double exposures before but not one with buildings so hopefully you'll find this one quite interesting. Okay let's get into it now. So what you'll see here is I've got a photograph of Hastings from up on the West Hill sorry, the East Hill, and a photograph of my wife, Beshley. And what we're going to do is put them together to create this effect. So to do that, first thing we need to do, once we've placed the two pictures together, is rasterize the layer. Then we are going to go to black and white, so we go image adjustments, black and white. We will do that for both images. So we'll go to the background, go image adjustments, and black and white too. And we've got two black and white images. Then we need to unlock the background and we need to rotate it so that it is rotated round to where we want it to be. Once we've done that, we will need to rescale it so that it's the right size for our image. If I switch the layers over so that becomes the top, you'll see that it's about the right size. approximately there. Next we will need to improve its brightness and contrast. So image adjustments will go to levels. We'll drag the black line in and the white line in. So we've got a nice strong contrasting image. Click OK once we're happy. Do the same with the face. So we're going to go to image adjustments levels. Bring the black line into where the black on the grass start, bring the white line to where the white bits are, move the grey bit just to make it perfect, click OK. Then you can see we have got the elements of our image. The next thing we need to do is add a blank background, which we will do at the bottom. We can use our gradient tool if we select a grey and a white, and then use the gradient tool here. We will drag that across the back to create a gradient background like so. So there is our gradient background. Now we'll need to get rid of the bits of the face we don't want. So we're going to create a layer mask. First we're going to select the subject of the picture like so. It just takes a moment for Photoshop to work out where the face is. Once it has done that we will hit the layer mask button here which will then mask out that bit which is perfect. We then go on to the layer with the cityscape or the townscape. We will click a layer mask button here. We will then use the paintbrush and our black paint and a fairly big soft round brush, which we find in the general brushes. And then we'll start to fade out bits of it that we don't wish to have in our final image. So we'll go around where the eyes are. Nose is, etc., and then round where the neck is, so that the buildings and the image blend together nicely. We can zoom in and look at the fine details. We can swap to white if we've taken too much out and put more of it back in. And we will play around with the image so that we get it exactly how we want it. If we want to do some fine detail bits of masking, we'll make the brush smaller and we could just put in the fine detail bits where we want them to be so we get this lovely double exposure effect going on. And I'll just zoom out and you can see what works really nice is the sideways buildings, the sort of roads flowing through where the hairline is and that creates our lovely double exposure effect. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed watching today's video. I've made it quite simple and quite straightforward. If you have, obviously come over, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you'd like to see anything else for me to do tutorials on. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Okay, thank you very much for watching.